Okay, so if all you know is some very basic geometry, that may be just enough to answer this question. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. It says, find the sum of the angles of an octagon. But the angles that we're talking about here are the interior angles. So these are the interior angles right here. And we want to find the grand total or the sum of all these angles. All right, now feel free to use a calculator. But uh, if you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to show you how easy it is to solve this problem. All right, so once again, we want to find the sum of the angles of an octagon, the interior angles right here. All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is the following, 1,080 degrees. All right, now, if you got this right, we well, definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know this is supposed to be easy, but I am totally lost and confused. Well, uh, don't uh, despair because, again, this is not that hard. But uh, what you need to know is a formula. Okay, so I'm going to show you that in just one second. But uh, before I show you that formula, we're going to kind of talk about how we can reason through and maybe figure out this problem uh, if we did not know this formula. All right, so let's go ahead and get into things right now. So what this problem is all about is finding the interior angles of a polygon. And I have two polygons right here. So the first polygon that we can uh, construct is the triangle. So what is a polygon? Well, basically, it's a figure where the sides of the figure are straight lines. Now, there's much more you need to know about polygons, but uh, we're going to keep things nice and simple. By the way, these figures are closed. So you can't uh, close a figure if you have two straight lines or sides. So we need at least three sides to close a figure. So a triangle is the first type of polygon that we have. All right, so uh, of course, a, a triangle has three sides. Now the sum of the interior angles of a polygon, or I'm sorry, of a triangle, have 180 degrees. So if uh, you were to ask somebody, hey, what is the grand total of the sum of the angles in a triangle? Hopefully they know it is 180 degrees. But that's the sum of the interior angles of this three-sided polygon, also known as a triangle. But uh, we have another polygon over here. Now, of course, this looks like a square, but uh, it could be a rectangle or something else. But it is a four-sided polygon. And the sum of the interior angles of any four-sided uh, polygon is 360 degrees. Now, uh, this doesn't have to be a square. You can have some sort of quadrilateral like so. And again, this topic of polygons is a very big topic. But uh, even if you had a four-sided quadrilateral in this kind of shape, if you add up the sum of the interior angles of this four-sided quadrilateral or four-sided polygon, You'll still, you'll still get 360 degrees. Okay, so there is a relationship here between the number of sides you have in a polygon and the sum of the interior angles. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is give you a second to think about uh, how we can kind of construct a formula to express this relationship. So in other words, if our polygon has three sides, the sum, of the, interior, uh, the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. But if our polygon has four sides, the sum of the interior angles is uh, 360 degrees. Okay, so how can we kind of uh, reverse engineer and figure out this formula? So we kind of have to uh, toy around or play around with these numbers. But uh, here again is our uh, three-sided polygon. So I'm gonna let the variable n equal the number of sides. So n is equal to three. Of course, this is a triangle. And then over here, we have some sort of quadrilateral, square, rectangle, but then we have four sides. So n is the number of sides. Okay, so how can we get a uh, 180 degrees from three? Well, again, this is where you have to kind of get creative because you have to figure out some sort of uh, mathematical uh, formula such that when you plug in three into something, you're going to get 180 degrees as your answer. So uh, we, what we can do here is take this three and subtract two. So three minus two is one. 
and 1 times 180 degrees is 180 degrees. Now again, our starting point here is 3, and we have to take this 3 and do something to it and uh, get 180 degrees. So the only uh, way we can do that is to subtract 2 from 3. So 3 minus 2 again is 1. 1 times 180 degrees is 180 degrees. Now let's see if this uh, relationship holds true when we have a four-sided polygon. All right, so if we subtract 2, just like we subtract 2 here from the number of sides, so 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 times 180 degrees is 360 degrees. Okay, so this indeed is the formula uh, that we're going to need to solve our problem. So let's go ahead and formalize it, and here it is. So the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is the following. Okay, so n is the number of sides that you have. So the sum of the interior angles is going to be parentheses n minus 2. Again, n is the number of sides times 180 degrees. Okay, so again, we can kind of see this here. If we knew this formula, n minus 2 times 180 degrees, again, n is the number of sides that we have. We can easily figure this out. All right, so our triangle has uh, three sides, or n is equal to 3, so 3 minus 2 times 180 is 180 uh, degrees. And then over here, we have this square or rectangle, so n is equal to 4. That, again, is the number of sides. So that would be 4 minus 2, which, of course, is 2 times 180 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles here is 360 degrees. Okay, so now that we understand this formula, we can apply it to solve this problem. So here is the formula. Here is the octagon. So now, hopefully, this is going to be very easy for you to figure out how to find the sum of the interior angles of this octagon. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. My goal is to help as many people as possible in mathematics. And specifically, I'm trying to teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting way. Also, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. So now that we know the formula to find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon, which, of course, is this formula right here, we can solve this problem. Okay, so we want to find the sum of the angles of this octagon. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is determine the number of sides of an octagon. So we could just simply count this out. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so an octagon has 8 sides, so n is going to be equal to 8. So all we have to do is use this formula. We're going to replace this n with 8. Now remember the order of operations. We have to do what's inside of parentheses first. So this is going to be 8 minus 2, which of course is going to be 6 times 180 degrees. This will give us our final answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So when you are actually doing this on some sort of, let's say, homework problem, test, or quiz, the way you want to do this is the following. So you want to kind of just uh, write your formula out, you know, first. Never do a problem that requires a formula without writing the actual formula. In other words, just don't start right here because your teacher or someone else won't know the formula that you are using. Okay, so always write the formula as a reference. So parentheses n minus 2 parentheses times 180 degrees. This will give us the sum of the interior angles of this uh, eight-sided polygon, also known as an octagon. Okay, so n is equal to eight. Again, always label what your variables are or the values for your variables uh, if you're going to use a formula. And so now just kind of take this one step at a time. All right, so n is equal to eight, so we're going to replace n with eight. Eight minus two is six. And then of course, six times uh, 180 degrees is 1,080 degrees, which of course is our final answer. All right, so a pretty straightforward, easy problem, assuming that you know the formula. But uh, you know, I didn't want to show you the formula uh, right from the beginning because I want to kind of to give you an idea of how to reason through and use information to try to construct formulas if you forgot a particular formula in geometry or algebra. 
Now, this problem seems pretty straightforward, but there's another variation of this uh, type of problem, and uh, it kind of goes like this. So let's say I uh, worded a question on some sort of an exam, and I said, I have uh, this, or the sum of the interior angles of some polygon is 1,080 degrees. What is that polygon, okay? Or how many sides does that polygon have? So to figure that out, we still need to use our formula, but we need to set up an algebraic equation. So this would be uh, parentheses, n minus two parentheses uh, times 180 degrees is equal to 1,080 degrees. And then here, we need to solve this formula uh, or equation, excuse me, for n. And of course, if we do the, all the algebra right, we'll get n is equal to a. Okay, so once again, there is a lot more that you can do uh, with uh, this uh, particular formula, and you're going to see both variations of this uh, type or types of problems in any geometry course. But uh, the key thing is this, even if you forgot a formula, if you kind of have you know, some sort of basic idea of what's going on, you know, just kind of reference the formula. Don't uh, feel like you have to memorize all formulas that you learn in math. But uh, what you have to do here is make sure to practice, practice, practice. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in geometry, check out these courses right here. So in my pre-algebra course, I have a couple of chapters on basic geometry. But uh, if you have to understand all things geometry to include uh, proofs, then you got to check out my full geometry course. Now, if you want a good math review of basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. All right, so I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.